Hi, welcome back to our channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Hello. Gonna be reading today from our series, A Little Time for Myself, a collection of Al-Anon personal experiences. They're not my personal experiences, but I can relate to them and that's why I'm here reading. So I'm sharing it. Let's see. I can share. All right. I love you guys. Let's say the serenity prayer just to settle in. It's just a simple, like, like a mantra style prayer. So um, if you've never heard it, here it is. God or universe, or you don't have to say anything. Um, grant us the serenity to accept things we can't change, to have courage to change things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. All right, one day at a time, right here, right now. All right, it's kind of cool when the light goes up higher for some, for some reason. All right, here we go. Uh, July 31st is the date. This is a daily reflection. We're getting through this book. Three. And um, let's do it. Page 213, if you're following along. And if you're not, um, if you don't have the book, it's okay. If you want to get the book, you can get it, actually. I think from alanon.org or a meeting that, that has this book. A lot of times they sell the books there. That's where, well, I didn't get this one there at a meeting, but I got other ones too. And I have a bookmark just for today. It has like little sayings on it that helps me get through the day. I got my water. All right, here we go. Here we go. Three years into uh, his recovery, my partner discovered uh, they had a had unclear feelings about being married. Wow, I was devastated. What went wrong? I was attending Al-Anon. I was doing all the right things I thought on my list, and we were we were getting along. Then I remembered that drinking is just one symptom of the disease of alcoholism and addiction. The act of it is just one part of it. Um, and that I don't have to take everything personally. My husband didn't choose this disease or these confused feelings that I could choose to step back and let him work out it on his own. So how did this person do that? This was hard. Probably took a lot more than just writing this paragraph. I'm sure there was like a gaps of time that they had to work through this and talk to sponsors and things like that and go to meetings and cry. So when his treatment of me turned hurtful, though, I had the courage to ask him to leave, yet still treat him with compassion. Time apart has brought us both some serenity and clarity. Even in the saddest moments, I'm grateful for this spiritual growth. So today's reminder, this is hard. Even difficulty can be an opportunity for growth. Practicing the principles of Al-Anon for me can make me better equipped to meet those challenges. Yes, living life on life's terms, like all the hard stuff for me, I can handle better because I have this new awareness and practice and, and trust in my higher power and myself. So working my program, 
allows me to detach from someone else's choices and gives me the freedom to make my own. And that's from a book called Opening of Hearts, Transforming Our Losses. And the question of the day is, what can I do to detach with love today? I have, that's hard. That's hard. I I know that it helped me uh, in 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 a really in several relationships, um, and um, that I was still like a, keeping attached to and getting hurt by because I was uh, the way that I was perceiving it, um, and also allowing. I wasn't putting up any boundaries that were clear, um, nor were they compassionate. I wasn't a very compassionate early on Alan on her. I was just too like, I can't do this. No. Um, I was more like, a, you know, turning off, you know, turning off communication. Um, I still have been, I still, fall into that line as well, but um, I don't have to communicate with, with um, people who continually do things that um, are untrustworthy or um, cross a boundary or trigger me in a way that I'm not able to handle. Um, I'm working on um, other relationships that uh, I've placed boundaries in, but possibly, you know, I can, um, and I do have compassion for them because they, even though that we're not in, you know, you know, speaking all the time, we still will communicate cordially and compassionately. And then there are acts of like appreciation and love that are, quietly observed and um that's okay too you know that's also respecting their boundaries you know i respect um their boundaries and so um yeah i mean hard things are hard but um there's like you will never uh, regret being kind that's for sure I will never regret being kind. And let's just see, there's another saying too that I remember seeing and I actually kept it. Oh, it's this is rock bottom has built more heroes than privilege. Rock bottom, that's for sure. I wonder if I could share that with you. You can see it. It's kind of a cute quote to see. Anyhow, nonetheless, um, there's like something simple today that that uh, reminded me a little bit of that. Like one of um, I was at work today, and um, one of my coworkers was like, she, she sometimes is moody. I call her. I can't. I can't, I say you're a little moody today, and she's like. Jolene, you're right. You are, you're right. I am moody. But like somebody else, like she was moody to somebody else. And they were like, Jolene, did you see? She, did you see how she was? She was just so rude. She just walked over and she said, yes, I am angry about something. He said, well, maybe she is, but you know, let her be. Don't take it personally. She probably has a lot going on. But when I talked to her myself and I'm, she's like, Jolene, I'm moody because... So and so wasn't clean in the dressing rooms, and all she's doing is sitting there ringing customers, and I'm over here cleaning the dressing room. And of course, I could totally relate to that. But that's just how it goes, you know? And I'm like, well, you can't change other people, places, and things outside of you. And she's also in recovery as well. And um, she's like, I think I need a meeting. I'm like, yes, you do. And I'm like, I need one too. I said, you just can't let, let it steal your serenity. You know that if you can't let it steal your serenity. It's, that's too important. 
She's like, I know I can't change. I said, nobody's going to change this person. She goes, I know. I said, you have a lot on your plate today. So, you know, she has like one of her best friends is moving out of town. And then they're trying to figure out about, because they share a, a dog, like, and she's like, how is that going to work? And she goes, I don't know. And she's like, I'm stressed out because of this and that and many other things. And then we're also stressed out because we don't know what's happening because we've been really slow at work. And so, so do we, you know, like we can't control like 90% of the things in this world, like they're outside of our control. Things are going to happen anyhow. And we can't predict it. That it won't make us, us more sane. We're trying to figure out why or any of that stuff. We can just try to live the best day we can. And surrender to, to it. I mean, God is more powerful than my plans. And I've known that. And um, worrying about things only brings my day down. Things are going to happen anyhow. And so, yes. And catastrophizing keeps me at a distance from my higher power. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. I'm not going to make it bigger. I'm not going to make it smaller. I'm just going to make, just like, watch it pass on by and um, just get through the day the best I can. All right. Well, I love you and I will see you tomorrow, God willing, with another reading. Okay. Mwah. Please like, please subscribe. If you want to do steps, um, I have, I'll put in the, um, there'll be like a little box here or there with the series of the steps. Okay. Because there's, you can, you know, at least dip your toe in, be aware of them, okay? All right, because it works if you work it, and you're worth it, and I love you, okay? Mm -hmm.